Hello everyone, Dr. Clark here. And this is the newest edition of Dr. Clark's Opinion. I heavily apologize beforehand if you hear any background noises or anything that sounds strange in the background because where I am, it is extremely hot, it's blazing summer and I have to have the fan on. So please excuse that. But going into the topic, this Dr. Clark's Opinion is about the recent news of, of the black Superman. As you all know, especially from a previous video that I've released, I don't like making videos and content period about popular topics uh, just because they're popular and they, they're going to get us uh, attention, views, and possibly more money. We would only do that if that was within our plan. But concerning the black Superman news, we have been getting so much, or I specifically, have been getting so many people asking me to make something and address it. So um, hopefully those are the same people that are going to like, share, comment, and do everything else to support this. So here you go. First off, this video is going to be my opinion on the Black Superman news. I will be making soon a factual lecture about the ideologies of the black superman so look out for that so i first heard about the rumor that warner brothers was going to do a black superman reboot film be it within the main dceu or within a alternate universe all the way going back to about three years ago almost if not more and the main actor to be associated with it be it acting in it be in terms of starring or producing it was mr michael b jordan uh it but it had just stayed a rumor but it had came out that he was in talks and the talks fell through or that they were going through multiple versions of that same talk with different executives now that this news has officially came out that they will be doing a black superman centric dcu film everyone has certain opinions about it so first off um you know it's not just going to be a alternate universe version of superman in terms of being another character like an icon or a val zod or a calvin ellis it's going to be black clark Kent. and quite a lot of people are upset about that here's the issue Many of the people that I see upset about it um, go within different categories that I've seen. So, for example, there have been some people who do not read comics. And if they have, they used to do it a long time ago. Or if they have, they only read one or two full runs of anything in their entire life. And their perception of these characters are based off of the mainstream adaptation status quo. Then there are also characters who are hardcore Henry Cavill fans, DCEU, who essentially still wanted for him to be the main Superman. There are people who do not like Superman, but still have any type of negative um, opinions about Superman-oriented news. And there are many more, more people within different categories. Here's the issue with, within that spectrum. Or all those different spectrums. The ideology of a black Superman, not only is it nothing new, but it is something that I, I wouldn't think people would have a problem with. Because it's now seeing that more people are upset at the fact that he's going to be black than, than, than the fact that it's Henry Cavill being replaced. Because I was thinking, I love the Snyder Cut of Justice League. I loved it. Henry Cavill is a good Superman in terms of how they use him in that film. So I'm not an anti Snyder Cut and anti original version of DCEU person. That's not who I am. But that still doesn't mean there can't be other adaptations of the character. Them keeping Clark Kent as Caucasian, I will ask people. What does him being Caucasian have to do with his character? 
Superman is supposed to be a universal representation of freedom and injustice. What does him being Caucasian have to do with that? And specifically Clark Kent. Because to be honest, I would have wanted and preferred for it to be a Val Zard or Kevin Ellis. And remember, they're supposed to be an icon project in development, be it animated or live action. So I'm more excited about that than I will ever be for a Clark Kent oriented movie project or TV show project. Even though the Superman and Lois show, uh, from what I've seen so far, is, is overall good. But what does him being white have anything to do with his ideals? So for people getting upset that they're changing his race, I would be more upset if they were changing the ideology of what he is. In terms of him being truth and freedom and, and justice, him being an oppressor, him being for injustice, and him essentially being evil. I would be more upset about that. But there are other versions of Superman, or Clark Kent in particular, that people loved about that. Injustice. <laughs> so... Towards the people who talk about SJW politics and all of those different things. Politics have always been an aspect within comics. But it is how it is being portrayed that a lot of people say they have the issue with. But the problem is, these are some of the same people who get upset when they keep things the exact same for these characters. You know... But when it is a lower tier character who aren't as popular as a Superman, Batman, Wolverine, Spider-Man, they don't even care about those characters. Like, I'll give you, even though this doesn't have anything to do with Superman per se, even though it's the same company, the journey of Kurt Langstrom, uh, within him, within his almost 15 year journey of him becoming a hero throughout the, the different reboots and him not being a member of the justice league dark was geniusly written and this is something that it took a status quo batman villain and within in the last decade transformed him into a good guy and he helps you know the world's heroes yet when people talk about the negative aspects of modern comics they don't want to bring things like that up i wonder why that is for people who say, why aren't there more original black characters? Well, so there's two ways to answer that. One, there are multiple black characters made by independent black artists. Mr. Roosevelt Pitt does it, for example. Milestone created an entire company around that, but it's no longer around. <laughs> I've talked about that before in the first podcast. Then uh, there are dozens of other black comics Um and movies and things created by independent black creators yet they don't get nearly the same amount of support and a lot of those projects die off or never truly get off the ground but then there's two <laughs> when you do have more mainstream black characters such as static miles morales okay into the spider verse made a bit of money in the box office originally enough to get a sequel but it didn't nearly make as much money as the other Sony animated films and, and even the other Disney and Marvel a animated films. It didn't make Big Hero 6 money. And it was marketed very well, too. But Into the Spider-Verse didn't do nearly as well as it should have done in the box office. Static. Most of Static's comic runs have been canceled. Especially his new 52 run, which I thought was good. The first six issues were great to me. But they sold like horror, that garbage. And Static was the main character, the main teenage solo character outside of Damian Wayne that they were pushing in terms of young comic readers buying a solo teenage superhero comic. Static was the main one that they were pushing outside of Damian Wayne and it got canceled after six issues because it sold horribly. So, concerning the Black Superman news, what are people truly upset about? Like I said again, I would prefer if it was a different character, but if it's not, it doesn't really affect me. Because I've also believed this too. One version of a character that I don't like does not stop me from uh, consuming the other versions of the character. 
Marvel's Avengers, the video game. That doesn't stop the MCU from existing. That doesn't stop the ultimate um, Avengers films from existing. That doesn't stop Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, which people refuse to support from existing. So how would that one version of the character outside of the comics change your perception? So it seems like people are mad at the wrong things. And like I said, I would love for Henry Cavill to have another Superman film and for him to still be Superman. But that doesn't stop other versions of the character, should be told. So what are people truly upset about? Some of the I know some of the greatest comic book writers, artists, cartoonists, animators who are black within the industry would love if more black people and black characters became extremely popular. But let's be honest, even in the motherland, we don't truly support black creators in terms of comic books, be a superhero or otherwise. In the different African dysphoric countries and islands. We don't really support them. So for people who are of a melanated skin tone who have an issue and talk about more original black characters, well, why aren't the ones that we've that we have created, you've supported them? Black people will always be, especially within the nerd culture, will always be attacked for us just trying to be ourselves. And the black Superman news opened up another window for people to to shout into or shout out of to essentially say that we are the ones who are causing for media and, and art around the world and different mediums to be destroyed. We are always the scapegoat. And this black Superman news, I'm happy for it, uh, partially because the fact of which we see another great version of a character that so many people say they love but how many people truly buy superman comics be honest icon to me is a better character overall than main earth one superman clark kent but how many people buy his comics milestone comes back <laughs> fully essentially by the middle of this year going into the summer for those who complain about the Black Superman news and, and talk about and say that they want more original black characters, this is your chance to speak with your wallet in your time. If I don't see milestone hashtags, if I don't see other black non DC related or Marvel related comic creators and comic characters and or any even if it's not comic, even if it's animation, movies, whatever. All of this outrage is for naught. For those who don't like the Black Superman news. And I'm sorry if I offend anyone. I'm sorry, but I have to be honest. As a black man, as a black creator myself, and me loving these characters growing up, I've never been uh, upset at versions of characters that, that I may not care about or didn't like. Because there are always other ones. But we, but we usually don't get those things or get enough of it if they don't get adequately supported. So I may make a sequel to this video if people want it. Again, I have to see a decent amount of likes, shares, and comments. But I'm going to definitely be making the more factual related video concerning the ideology of a black Superman in the future. And also one more thing before I close. <laughs> the Superman myth has existed for thousands of years. One of the original versions of the myth was the African god Shingle. But that's a completely different story. Everyone, Dr. Clark signing out.